Well, there's a lot of ground to cover in this response. I just finished watching. I'll just address you, Mr. E, uh, your video just a little while ago. Uh, let me say at the outset that, uh, to my knowledge, I've never, and if, it, if I have, I will apologize for that. I've never, used, I've never badmouthed you as a person. I think you uh, have a good character, and I think that your intentions probably are well-meaning. Um, posters on my channel, barring some of the nutcases in the past, I've, I've decided to, uh, to block. They're free to say whatever they want. They speak their own mind. Um, sometimes I agree with them, sometimes I don't. Um, but, you know, like I said, I... I I don't. I don't even insult my really my uh, my enemies for the most part, and I don't consider you my enemy. So no, I have no issue with your person. So let's just say that uh, get that out uh, out of the way at the outset. It's uh, just you know. However, um, I I responded to your claim in a comment. I'm going to try to. I don't necessarily bit by bit go through all this, but to address most of your major points. I responded uh, to your claim that I'm representing uh, men going their own way as a kind of separatist movement. Um, I suppose that's one possible interpretation of that, uh, but I also describe it as concern for men's well-being. The position being, quite simply, that uh, society as a whole, uh, women, and indeed men's fellow men don't give a shit about their fellow men, and I'm deeply, deeply concerned about this. Um, based on my observations of what I've seen in the world at large, uh, I'll give you an example. I don't even know this guy very well, but you know, we talked about suicide and suicide in relation to, re in, in relation to relationships and marriage. I have an, a, a friend who has an acquaintance, who is a friend, he, this friend of this friend is an acquaintance. He, uh, he didn't succeed, but he drove his car into a tree and tried to kill himself as a result of a uh, dysfunctional relationship. These things are very, very real. I've seen uh, people uh, literally ruined, uh, men literally ruined. Uh, I've seen a few suicides, I've seen, I've experienced the aftermath of men killing themselves due to uh, relationships, and I've seen men's lives just completely ruined for one reason or another. Um, once again, kryptonite resistance is uh, either limited or less limited or more limited. It, it, it varies. So really, less than separatism, uh, and I suppose it is somewhat separatist to have uh, compassion for an entire sector of the human race that has throughout history been spat upon. And despite it, that, that sector of the human race's achievements, and seen as disposable trash and refuse to be uh, thrown to the lions whenever uh, deemed necessary. So in that sense, it is separatist to want to, des to desire to show compassion and concern for that uh, part of the human race. I've stated before on my channel, and I'll state it again, that my channel is not for women. That is true. Uh, women get enough compassion and concern. That's all you hear about. Women suffer from this and women suffer from that. Um, it's just not possible for me, in good conscience, to extend the same level of compassion uh, to that part of the other half of the human race when A, they've never extended that towards men, uh, B, society at large has never done that, and C, they don't, they're not doing it now. Someone needs to uh, pick up the slack, and someone needs to take care of these very important issues and address them. Uh, I see my purpose in, in, in doing that, and I also see my purpose in showing compassion and concern for my male, fellow men. Uh, I care very deeply for my fellow men, because uh, because I've been there, and I'll get to your you've been burned uh, accusation in, in a bit. Um, because a lot of men are simply not well girded to handle uh, the the possibilities and the disappointment of, and I'm, I will include Barbarossa's videos in here as well of of the of the Cinderella fairy tale. Uh, they've been fed this, and they're inclined to believe it. I think more than that. There possibly is a deep-seated biological element to it as well. Men are, are perhaps even biologically programmed to believe that women are good and kind and uh, trustworthy and all of these things. So men uh, have a major, major 
weakness, their, their kryptonite, it can kill them potentially. Uh, and in the sense that I, I am offering somewhat exclusive, exclusive to men, advice and, or ideas and content as to how to deal, say, with that kryptonite weakness, uh, it is, I suppose, separatist. Um, w advice and, and concern for women is a dime a dozen. Uh, it's you can find it anywhere, from the simple statement, you need to know do what's best for you, and you know, the girlfriend advises the fellow girlfriend about her relationship problems, to uh, come to the women's center and we'll help you out. Uh, it, it never really ends. Men have nothing. Men really have nothing. They have nothing. Um, so, uh, it is very important that I, uh, that I continue pursuing this in the manner I have been doing. Uh, because if we, it's readily conceivable that that, uh, that men are flawed, human beings are flawed. The question is, we are that you really need to ask yourself, and we all do, is that it, it, do, do we have a biological and sociological paradigm, a software essentially that's been running for untold millennia, um, and involving the disposability of men? their lack of humanity and their lack of value, and the favoritism shown towards another group of human beings, i.e. women, the vaginally endowed, do we have a paradigm of them getting all the goodies, them being shown, uh, them being shown mercy, them, all these things, and men, on the other hand, just are literally being thrown to the lions in some cases, quite literally, if you're talking about the savannah of Africa, or just dis disposed of as refuse. Um, I uh, I think it's really really important to stress that men do not have people looking out for them. And if I'm not going to look out for my fellow men, quite frankly, uh, I'm not going to really look out for for anyone. I'm certainly not going to spend my time pretending that that women are not being taken care of and show try to show compassion towards them, because quite frankly based on their behavior and based on the fact that they willingly accept the benefits that uh, politicize feminism. And I, as I said, believe feminism is inherent to the female. Uh, they willingly accepted the benefits that politicized feminism has brought, brought about. They're enjoying those benefits and they do not wish to recant. They do not wish to repeal any of that. Uh, I, do, I cannot extend my a, you know, a, fe a, you know, a, fe a feather to them in, in, in a gesture of peace. That's not to say, I mean, I, 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 I'm rather convinced that I am not a misogynist. Uh, I, you know, in the sense that I don't hate women, per se, but I have deep, 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 deep problems with their, with their behavior and their mannerisms and the way they interact. Um, now, uh, you mention Girl Rights What and how I think she's in need of Look, I can only take Girl Rights What's uh, you know, word for it was, as she presents herself in her video, I know nothing about her personally, and to be quite honest, I don't really want to. Um, I, she seems to be genuine. Uh, she herself conceded the possibility of having male brain wiring. Um, and, yeah, no, I don't, and I, I have, I'm almost convinced that Girl Rights What probably uh, only partially agrees with me on a lot of things. But, um, you know, she, she does seem uh, genuine, but that's all I can say, she seems. Uh, the if you are conceding, for example, that men need to be cautious, if you even if you're at the same time conceding that men should pursue relationships with women, uh, then my my claim that the default position towards women should be one of uh, mistrust. I think you would have to agree with that. Now, uh, getting to this personal issue, which I thought was rather unnecessary to bring up, and uh, it's a pity you did that, but have I been burnt? Well. Uh, haven't we all been burnt, uh, recent or not? Um, my understanding of the climate we live in is a consequence not just of my observations of other people's experiences and my own lived experiences, um, but of the totality of it all. Uh, have I been burnt in the sense? Yeah, we've all been burnt, um, and it leads and it, and it leads us down a certain path, and we we draw certain conclusions from it. Now, I can assure you that I am, for better or worse, uh, in my life, so benumbed towards virtually everything that remnants of emotion and pain are far, far few between. So, 
no. If if your accusation is that I'm 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 still hung up on my ex, to put it bluntly, no, I'm I'm really quite not. Um, and I could go through dozens of reasons as to why I'm not. But um, no, I'm I'm pretty benumbed towards everything, to be quite honest. Uh, the only passion I really bring across the table is when I make my videos on occasion, some maybe at the gym, and uh, when I'm playing my computer games and making videos for that as well. Uh, and yeah, that that's that. Uh, but certainly the conclusions I've reached, sure, it's, it's, it is a cumulative, uh, based on cumulative experience uh, of my 34 plus years of life. And uh, that's, we, we all draw conclusions from our experiences. But, uh, to getting back to the main, the crux of the issue here, uh, this idea that it's separate, it's, well, it, it is by default separatist, I suppose, but it's not... I'm not putting men on a pedestal. I'm I'm trying to offer uh, well compassion and protect and protection or ideas on how men can protect themselves and gird themselves against a world uh, that just doesn't give a shit about them. Um, now that might be. Yeah, I was really actually impressed by. Uh, you know, I try not to go too too much on a tangent. By this, uh, I guess it was creative fiction of uh, you know, the guy who was uh, the story of the relationship. But you know, you have to realize that there are men who actually go through this, and uh, I, and men who who've gone through similar experiences. And it's not a fiction for them. Uh, the question at the end of the day is, what is better advice for the vast majority of men to continue pursuing a, a, a dynamic which does not work in today's uh, current age. It might work, as I said, needle, as, you know, in, in a cup, in a very, very few cases. That's not, uh, as one of my posters said, it's, it's, it's like, uh, you know, basing investment stra strategy on playing the lottery. It's just, it's just not wise investment strategy. Regarding artificial wound technology, I assume that was a uh, a snipe primarily at Barbarossa. Um, I've never actually talked about art artificial wound technology, but um, it probably will come regardless. Now, there, of course, there are dystopian fears. Barbarossa has talked about that. There are fears ill can come of it. It'll always come to some ill. always comes to some uh, of all techno technological pro uh, progress. Uh, the splitting of the atom brought uh, all kinds of things, uh, good and bad, uh, with it. And uh, I think if artificial wound technology were to actually come about, then it would be quite similar. Uh, I've also talked about other ideas. For example, one of my earlier videos about sex robots, I assume you wouldn't improve that either. I simply do not believe that women and men need each other in the sense that you would propose. And as Barbarossa has said, we, men and men are not partners. We're not partners. Uh, we have different needs, different desires, and the best case scenario, we have a tenuous truce, or a very tenuous alliance. In the worst case scenario, we are just plain, uh, speaking plainly, enemies of, of a sort. That said, we need to be aware of the fact that we are men and women are not partners in that in the sense that many people uh, believe them to be. They are the women to us are the other half of humanity. They they need our sperm. We need their uterus, um, and that is that is where the, the actual need stops. Uh, I mean, it's where it begins and where it stops simultaneously at the same time. That that's where, um, like any sort of uh, drug, means of uh, achieving some sort of uh, state of of temporary bliss or contentment, like alcohol, like the bomb hit, like anything, like crack cocaine. 
yeah, you, you can partake of, of the female, of, of female flesh. You can enjoy it. Uh, it is incredibly intoxicating. But I don't know if that's a need, per se. Uh, I don't... I, it remains to be seen if that's an actual need. Uh, if an addiction can be classified as a need, then I would agree with you. Many, most of us are addicted. Most recently at the trade fair, I couldn't help but you know, cast glances at these insanely attractive females running around with almost nothing on. That's just biology. But is that a need? Do I need to act upon those needs? I'm not so sure. Uh, look, I have no objections to the occasional fuck. Uh, if it comes my way, on the other hand, I'm not going to make the effort, a tremendous effort to get it. But uh, this idea that men need women and women need men, uh, I think it's much more the case that men need women's uteruses and uh, and women need men just for about everything. Uh, and it's, it's odd that you would express concern about uh, these artificial uteruses because uh, the, the sperm bank is a the, the sperm bank where women have complete control over over reproduction. That that's that's fem, that's a feminist institution if you want to call it that. That's 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 it. I mean, you have it right there. Uh, men have no real say about that. Women are very selective about the, pro, the selection process processes involved when choosing don do, uh, do, uh, donors to uh, the sperm bank. It's already in place. Um, and, yeah, the problem is things are getting a lot worse. They're getting worse and worse. And that's why you have a lot of men, on, for better or worse, uh, agreeing with me uh, and agreeing with Barbarossa about these issues. Now, part of that is, as you put it, is getting burnt. But let's interpret really what that means, getting burnt. Getting burnt is not simply reflecting the, the, the pain and hurt that you might have, but getting burnt is, it might incorporate some of the pain in the initial stages, and I've talked about this in the, in the stages of becoming a man going in some way, but it's much more about reflection and realizing what it all means and how you got there. How, how did we all get where we, where we are now? Um, it's very clear to me that your position on these issues is a reflection of your own lived experiences, which uh, I can only assume, since you're reasonably young, are very different uh, and, and far more limited in the pain sphere of relation to uh, the pain, disappointment, and financial loss involved in dealing with women than many of our, our experiences on the other end. Uh, but, you know, I, I also have to say that uh, I, I just can't. If, if I think that there's a there's a there's a, a difference or a, a rupture or a rift, then I, I really have to address that. I can't just ignore that. Um, it's, I'd be lying to myself and, and 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 people who agree with my content, men who agree with my content, um, and, and those men are of course important to me. The, the purpose of this channel is, is basically to help them to provide content for them. Um, look, uh, there can probably not be any sort of formal reconciliation regarding this. Uh, you know, the way you casually dismiss Briefo's law, I don't even, I mean, I don't even know if you see it merely as a guideline, but um, there is, you're right, there's nothing wrong with self-interest. But the point is that men, once again, have throughout history, sacrificed and broken their backs and given their lives to others, both men and women, and gotten zip in terms of recognition. Nobody gives a shit about them. And that is my concern. If, if you want to encapsulate it all, that's my main concern. We have no humanity in the eyes of others. Nobody gives a shit about us. And so someone needs to watch out for men. And women have plenty of resources out there. Uh, you know, the gods forbid I ever uh, try to extend uh, a hand of help towards them. They don't need the hand of the, the hand of help. They, they, uh, the helping hand. They, they have it all already. Um, look, like I said, for all I, I said a long a while back that I can't judge your marriage. I have no idea. I'm not going to be one of these guys who says, you know, it's all going to go south. Um, no. 
but um, you know, I, I think what you it, it's actually on your part a, a, a just a acute lack of, of empathy the reason why why we perceive things the way they are and maybe in contrast you are is as a result of our different differentiated lived experiences some of us have really witnessed what you would call uh, simply feminism, what I would call politicized feminism, and a combination of lowercase f. Feminism, female behavior, selfishness. Look, it is a, it is, is a testable in history, and it is also a testable in, in modernity, that quite frankly, women are more self-interested, more selfish, selfish is the word, than men are. Men have always been willing to sacrifice and break their backs and, if need be, give their lives for the smallest modicum of respect. And what have women done? They've piggybacked on it all. They've enjoyed the, the fruits of that labor. They've enjoyed the benefits of men's work, their sweat, and in some cases their deaths. Remember women and children first? So who's putting who, whom on a pedestal? Really? I'm not putting anyone on a pedestal. Rather, I'm raising man, men from the trash heap that they've been cast into routinely and continue to be so to this day, even as I speak. The fact that men have continually been spat upon. I'm trying to raise them out of the trash heap to a level where they're treated as human beings. You want to call that putting men on a pedestal? No, 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 no. I think not, my friend. Simply not the case. Uh, feminists, on the other hand, women have always been the beneficiaries of men's labor throughout history. Women were, were already treated rather well, even in harsher times. There simply is no comparison to what I'm advocating and what I'm talking about and what feminists have done. I've yet to hear a woman, apart from the rather superficial YouTube videos of Girl Rights What, actually talk about extending compassion towards men. Um, in fact, a, while, a little while back I made a video about the female commentator, who I assume has now unsubbed me, um, um, about the suggestion she had of what men need to do. They need to do this, they need to do that. It's always what we need to do. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see a, a word of, uh, of compassion or understanding. It's simply what, what men need to do to better their situation. Man, woman, myth, whom you cite, uh, said quite uh, pithily that we all, we've all seen what, uh, how, that all, how trying to change things politically in a democracy works out, right? So, now, is it realistic to expect that lots of men are going to think along my lines? No, probably not. No, it's not. Uh, the, the opiate of the female is far too strong. And so men will continue to, be, uh, to get burnt over and over and over and over again. So where do I see my role in this? Well, in a couple hundred or thousand men that might see my videos, and I get PMs from men who say I've helped them immensely. And that's very empowering and encouraging. It's what gives me motivation to do this. Because otherwise I wouldn't. I would live a quiet, unassumed existence, I assure you. Um, help the, sm the small number of men who are aware of these things. Um, but that ultimately is the objective. I think there's also another element. I, I tend to be less political than, say, you know, a voice for men. I, I, I tend because I, I don't see I see politics as a as a consequence of inherent female nature. So as long as we have an inherent female nature that's readily identifiable and understand and understandable, we we know what it, the way it is and how we behave. The politics will simply reflect that. I think you routinely have presented a model of politics influencing women. That is to say that women, uh, yes, you say they're flawed, but are, are, are basically all, in, in, in a nutshell, decent, good people, uh, 
that have been affected by the nefarious uh, institution of feminism as it's manifested across the political spectrum, in a nutshell. I, uh, I <laughs> unsurprisingly, see, uh, don't see that. I see the political spectrum being a reflection of women's inner desires and needs. Um, and I mean, I, I could never in good conscience tell a man that uh, you know, that, that a woman will ever have his best intentions in mind. Uh, compassion, well, women do show occasional compassion, right? Uh, on occasion, they show it to their offspring, to their offspring. But uh, even that's a flaw. We know that more women commit a domestic violence towards their, their children than men do towards their children. That's statistically tenable. Um, so, I mean, that, even that, that notion is flawed. Yes, we're all flawed. But the bottom line, and I'll say it one last time, is that I am not putting men on a pedestal. I am raising them from the trash heap that they have been relegated to throughout history to a level where they have humanity and where they have value. You say, I'm, I'm, I, you want to talk? Yes, you're right. It is about giving men value. But it's not about giving men value so they can run back to the, to the Cinderella fairy tale and so they're better armed when the, when the, when the, when the fairy tale inevitably crumbles. It's about giving them value for themselves, independent of the female. Uh, we do not need women in that sense. Yes, it is quite likely that the greatest opiate, the greatest high you can get, is some that, that passionate act of fucking a woman, and that, that the, the soft skin and all of that stuff that all of us men, we know that, yeah. But is that a need? No, it's a bomb hit. It's a really powerful bomb hit. But then after that, it's uh, I think you, you can sit and sit back and, and have a look at what it really is. So, like I said, uh, I'm not going to ever insulted you. I, I just deeply, deeply disagree with you on, on these rather key issues. In fact, I guess on, on virtually everything at the end of the day, since you see female behavior as a consequence of a greater of, of political influence, and I just see see the politics being a result of what women want. Um, you say women have been tricked and deceived by feminism. I see w women are feminism. Um, and ultimately, ultimately, uh, within the men's rights movement, or however you want to put it, uh, that, that will be the crux of the matter. This issue is, is feminism inherent to the biology and sociology and psychology of the female, or is it something completely new introduced a couple of decades ago? Or a century and a half ago? That will be the crux of the matter, because if I'm right, then it means that it's going to take a lot more than just a little bit of political action and working with women and what have you to change things. If you're right, well, then yeah, that's all you need to do. You need to just change it, as a lot of these posters have said. Who've un people have unsub me, and that's fine. I stand by what I said. Um, some people apparently think just need to push back some legislation and everything will be fine again. Going back to the good old days. I made a video about the good old days. They weren't really that good, to be perfectly honest. So at the end of the day, the real question here is, is feminism inherent to female biology and psychology? Is it part of their nature? Is, it, is that the reason why they chose to embrace it and chose to benefit uh, from its progress throughout society, from its basically its, its spread? So the plague of feminism? Or is it just women were, were tricked, were conned by the, the, the feminist Goliath that, that insinuated itself into the politics of, of Western nations? Hmm. I don't know. Um, and it's something that we all need to think about. And I think, we all, I think if you really think about it long enough, I think you'll come to the right conclusion. And I, quite frankly, don't think it's, it's as simple as women have been conned and they're just, they're all nice and kind and caring, and the minute we get rid of all the feminist institutions, they're going to they're gonna go back to the way they were, they always have been. But how have they, how have they always been? That's the big question. Um, this is the ultimate divide. Uh, yeah, there's, you know, the fact that some men choose not to go their own way and some do, but the ultimate divide is, is there inherent female nature? And is, is feminism and is a product, a byproduct of that inherent female nature? 
in my to support this, even though I'm sure the girl writes what disagrees with a lot of what I say. Uh, she herself, in one of her video responses to mine, said that you know w women are not going to change; they need to be forced. To. And then it gets me to another point. This is hard to keep very coherent. This is a rather lengthy response. But the simple fact is that yes, one idea behind men going their own way, at least in my interpretation, is, yes, deprivation. Um, women require men, men's resources, and it is an effective strategy to starve the other half of men's resources. That is an extremely effective strategy. Is it a long-term long strategy for the course of humanity? Probably not. Is it a good strategy for the next couple of decades? You bet your bottom dollar is. Um, women, not through force, through physical force, but through a kind of other force need to realize that they need to start doing things for themselves on their own. They need to start developing themselves. Um, they can't keep on depending on men. Because it, it, this, this, this dynamic is simply uh, unequal. Men do a lot more. They put more energy into things. They sacrifice more. And they, they've lost their lives uh, as a result, uh, both figuratively and, and, and in reality. So depriving women of their doers, of, 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 of the doers, of the, of, the, the men, of the men who would otherwise provide them with resources. Will I reach that goal on a personal basis, just using my YouTube channel? Well, probably not. Um, but that certainly is a thought that, that's there, and I think it's an important one that we all need to, to, uh, to give some, uh, some reflection to. Because, yeah, once again, are women our partners, or are they the other half of humanity with different needs, different desires? Um, yeah, you can have some kind of forced uh, set up like the old institution of marriage to kind of make it work, but anyway, I think uh, that more or less encapsula encapsulates my response to your response. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see this going away, like I said, because some of us believe that there is an inherent female nature and that nature is feministic, and some of us believe that feminism is just a couple of decades or 150 or 130 years old, and it's all in the politics. And the minute we get rid of the politics, women will revert back to being the angels they've always been, right? I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway. So, that's what I have to say.